There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. We've been stressed over here, guys. <laughs> I put my fucking dick in a light socket to make sure this entire stream works. It and, didn't help. And it turns out my cock helped. Yeah, honestly, no, no. It was the first wave of, of issues was because then all this ginger hair got up in the wires. And weirdly, uh. I thought that they would conduce more. Hey, guys. I hope you like the cure because I'm the lead singer. Wow. wow. So you're comparing yourself to Robert Smith. Huh? You don't wear enough khakis. Uh, I'm not a neo-Nazi, because cockies <laughs> are officially the clothes of the new Nazi. And you know what I say? Boo, cocky. Have fun with it. This is okay. really already great. I just want to say thank you to the stream, everybody that oh. is there that in the chat, still holding strong. What's going on? Oxium, Lauren before, Riley, before my great Before my great bit about the power, mm -hmm. oh, I'm Darth Hideous. <laughs> You're Darth Hideous. You're I'm, Darth, I'm Hideous. Darth Hideous. Uh, Henry, do I need to teach you how to turn off the sound on your phone again? It's, I'm going to fucking... Uh, I can't. <laughs> it is my birthday year. Oh, year Not now. Year. Hey. It's your birthday oh. week. It went which from also, a birthday You take day. a woman's amount of time to celebrate your <laughs> no, birthday. No, no, no. But that's no, okay. Gonna, that's okay. <laughs> it's a full birthday year. Every day of this year, from May 1st to the next, is my birthday. You know what? I'll give you that if you wear that tiara every single day this year. Every uh, day this so year. Why it's my birthday. And then you know what? We might be able to get some government grants because of your disability. <laughs> I can't wait because what do I expect? Cake? Uh -huh. Every day. Every day. I expect um, little surprise pre presents doesn't need to be big, but you need to show that you're thinking about me and right. you know me. Mm -hmm. Right. And you Absolutely. thought about me. Right. And number three, I'm going to need to see that fucking hard penis of yours. I know you will. I know you will. By the way, Uber XL, Uber Black. No, there's new Uber short bus for Henry. <laughs> 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 yeah, I put my dick in a light socket. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my mandate. Yep. It is absolutely my mandate. I wasn't here for my last mandate, and it made me very sad because I had a lot of videos that I wanted to explain. I wanted to explain the Kanjo. I wanted to explain the woman yes. getting all the honey poured on her. What was your explanation of the woman getting all of her honey poured on her? Well, it, we didn't know it was honey till the very end. Yeah, I thought it was just <laughs> very bizarre jacket. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Well, you missed it, so I'm not going to give it. Yep, well, they, what, was uh, it what did it because, mean? No, because that was the past, and now we're in the present. If we're constantly digging up the past, and there's no way we can move forward. Absolutely. Epstein Island. <laughs> Noam Chomsky. <laughs> oh. So yeah. we did have some trouble getting the stream online today. A bit, a we bit. had some trouble. We've been having some issues with technology recently. But the thing is about the recent Techno technological uh, advancements sure. is that we really got to appreciate them. But why? True. They seem to make Absolutely. things worse. I went to go see Willie Nelson with friends and family this weekend, mm -hmm. and we still. But he went alone. No, Willie I went Nelson with friends. had the friends. I had friends. <laughs> I had a friend from high school come with me, and he was forced to come with me. That's nice. And what I'm saying is this: Why are we still waiting in lines? You can scan my entire body. You can see my cock and balls. If we're gonna use this fucking tech, let's just use it so we streamline it and people can just walk in. Guys, again. this is the socket talking. I, because when it comes down to it, if he, if if it really was all facial recognition, next thing we know, you would have held a protest outside of the Willie Nelson show, uh -huh. being like, "You how do you know it's me? What if it's not me? <laughs> how do you know it's me. him? <laughs> no one's anybody." I walked in because I was one of the only people that smoked a joint on night one when the Allman Brothers sang Midnight Rider and the security guard when I was walking in was like, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you again. And I was like, good to see you again. Recognizable. But what, he tell you to stop smoking the joint or he no, saw you No, but they did applauded. send security to sniff around, but I had put it out by that time. <laughs> I don't really even understand that it's legal, it's outside, it's Willie Nelson. He needs the smoke to live. The Hollywood Bowl is a little bit, it's a little strict. It's stuck it's in the little, past, I would imagine. It is a, a little, little bit, stuck yeah. in the past. Yeah. Well, technology that's what the subject of the day is right now the subject of the day of the minute so i want to give a little bit of appreciation towards where we're heading with technology and i want to show you guys what's possible with the technology that we have going on right now uh -huh. that's why i want to ask you this question you ever seen will smith eating spaghetti no but i no. can't wait to i haven't seen will smith and i haven't heard about anything that he's done in the past two years hasn't been controversial at all no. i actually forgot that he was still acting yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but wow. you know i feel like this question is loaded yeah well 
that's not really loaded because you're about to see Will Smith eating spaghetti. Okay. Let's, Let's watch it. it. Out. I'll watch it. So, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, wow. This is and this thing, AI. AI is replacing us. Oh, AI is going to replace us. And you, look at this. You can barely tell. <laughs> I see that. That's Fresh Prince of Bel Air right there. Keep <laughs> this meat out of my mouth. I actually probably call it the AI. Listen, they've even got his voice. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Really that's good. That's actually very, kind of close. I, I would say it's more like the not so fresh. Prince of Bel Air. No, I do um, like that AI doesn't fully understand how humans eat spaghetti yet. Well, but can we will. actually take it back real quick? Because I want to see again. Because it do a little bit of a breakdown of the no, not hardcore. I just want to see if he's using a fork, right? Or is he using hands? I think some are hands, some are forks. Yeah, that's, that's a fork. fork. That's, that's a, a fork. shadow the fork. fork. And then he's like, well, yeah, hands, yeah, yeah. I don't know that's what hands. we're gonna do about this AI. AI. It is going. <laughs> it is out of control. <laughs> that's a fork. That's a fork. Because this. this is I. This is the uncanny you laugh. valley times a million. I cannot believe it is this accurate. You laugh now. Oh, my friend. I'm begging to be replaced. I guarantee you within one year, just what, because I saw. One year, one week. I saw a, uh, a comparison of one of the one of the image replacement programs, uh, but a year ago and a year and now, and the one that they showed, the one a year ago looked stupid. The one they showed now looked flawless. So it in a will. year, that will be a reality. We will I'm watch just glad Will that Smith will. calmly eat spaghetti. But it's nice that Will Smith can finally eat spaghetti because he always it has to nice. watch the carbs. He does. Because of his Hollywood diets. So he now does. he actually gets to do it in his own way. I, I for one, I'm not afraid of our AI overlords. I know for a fact you that should he, be. humans are still going to want human-based art. But I'm excited for all of the nightmare scapes. That they AI will create. Yeah, that's true. I just did a, uh, an advertisement for uh, something that we that we're advertising for, and it might help with prompting scripts AI. Oh, great! But it could also kill your entire family, become militarized, become the police force that destroys the entire society that we live in. But also, why we're but pro, it could also help you prompt with scripts. It can. <laughs> but we're part. We're pro the WGA strike because a part of what's 100%. going on is because they want to kick the ChatGPT out of the writers' room or use it in very specific ways. And if you actually look at their response. They immediately were like, no, 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 no. They wanted to, the response of the production companies, this is real, was that they told people that instead of using, like, instead of saying no to AI, what we need to do is have meetings with writers to talk about expectations we have for writers. That's right. like, Great. It's this brutal thing, but That's it's going to start, but they're going to kick it out. They, they are going to eventually capitulate because DJ is also going to finally, is going to go on strike and DJ. SAG's going to go on strike because we are all going to kick chat, chat GPT out of those rooms. I actually think it's so unbelievably easy to write a Marvel movie that we won't. It's I so think that easy they're to they're actually going to gonna move on well, and say already, fine strike because AI doesn't have morals Well, they're or crowd money. written by algorithm because that's what they're asking writers to write right now anyway. Right. Well, Marvel movies in the first place are just storylines that are ripped from comic book writers who are not in any way compensated for the creations that they made. Ed Brubaker deserves I'll to have compensation for creating the I'll Winter Soldier. Thank you, Ed Blue Baker. Brew Baker. Brew Baker. Brew Baker. Brew Baker. Yeah. And when my Give Jim Starlin credit I for Thanos. I'm sorry, I lost myself. I really do enjoy this birthday week. I love it too. It's He's a birthday more patriotic year, as he gets older. You, you do guys. get more patriotic because you're understand. like, yeah. No, no, no. no, no. I'm you pro. Become... I'm pro me. Yeah, that's like, called American is, patriotism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it's really about what suits me mm -hmm. and what really benefits. Me. Yeah. Awesome. Well, awesome. Well, what what do we got coming up next, Eric? What what's what's going on in the video? Oh yeah, let's here. She should have kept her spaghetti out of that kid's mouth. <laughs> she should have. Good work, Chad. She should well, this, have. This next video might be fake, might not be. I don't care. And this Let is still tech related. Is that what you're saying? No. No. Okay. No, no, no. So that's that, 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 that's the, passed. That, that, that's passed. Okay. We've appreciated it. <laughs> We've given it its due. <laughs> yeah. So now let's move on to an embarrassing moment in someone's life. I oh. can't. I love to laser in on the thing that everybody thought that you thought that everybody forgot. Yeah. Right. And right. then it's emblazoned on the internet forever. And this forever. is absolutely. This was a private moment that uh, one person shared with another in confidence, and yeah. it was put on the internet. So it's not just, that it's not that woman singing about how she's a ninja, is it? No, no it's no, not. Good. No, no, no. That was not a private moment. That Which, was a public moment that she thought was yeah. going to increase the sales of Murphy Bets. By the way, that, that became my algorithm, by the way. After I played <laughs> oh, it on the yeah, stream, yeah, like yeah, my yeah. punishment was <laughs> all that. I was I like, I can't to. anymore. I, I had to purge it for my brain yeah. Yeah. for yeah. two days. Well, right. um, yeah, this is a real short one. Let's just listen to what this lady has to say after a, a, a terrible incident. My boyfriend's toilet. Ah, yes. 
took the poop out and put mm. it in his cat's litter box. <laughs> and he asked if I pooped in it. And I said no. no. But he said his cat has been dead for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Please pick you. know, this is where, this is why it's so important to always take a shit on the first date. Yeah. If the person that you're with can't handle you, handle you at your poopiest, they don't deserve you at your cleanest. Yeah. I think that this man should have said, oh, my cat's been dead for a week. But wow. He must be a ghost now and claim that indeed that was cat shit. Mm -hmm. oh, sure. Still banged on this chick because who among us has not plugged a toilet? Also, oh, yeah. men don't care. I'm going to no, go on well, a limb and say men truly don't care. And that maybe because even last I, week, I, I, Natalie didn't care when I said that I would definitely eat shit over mattress. She material. did care. She actively was disgusted she by She really it. was. She was very surprised. Oh, she answer. totally she cared. Moved she, on. Did, <laughs> she moved on, but she did care. She it doesn't mean on. that she yeah. didn't care. But she didn't I, enjoy you. I think that, that poopoo. -poo, in within Why are you doubling down on this? Actually, this is quadrupling down. And it's quadrupling, but I want to hear his point. I'm just saying that we don't really care, right? Like, if we you do found out. No, wait, hold on. If What's you found about? out that Carolina, third date, right? You right. just, all you're wanting to see is the vagina and the boobies and Ab hear her uh -huh. talk. Of course, yeah. And so she eats, if, she, if he found say, out that she eats shit? No, 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 no. I don't no, know no, where no. you got on eating shit. He's he, that's what he was talking about. I was not. No, no. You are focused on the eating shit because you're a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adult who sits and thinks about. It's the socket talking. Yeah. And so I'm please, an adult Henry, who we, philosophizes, who sits and thinks upon these subjects and expounds upon them. If we're keeping it in the realm of the adult, please. Use the term feces. So, feces, <laughs> if feces, let's say you were, you're, again, third date with Carolina. Third date. All you want to do is be on it. That's it, yeah. Sure. Right? She just so happens to slam your toilet. Sure. Packed with feces. Packed. Oh, yeah. Cares. Do you care? One of the one of the uh, the coils, one of the cobra. Snakes? Well, like if she floods the toilet, do you care? Are you not going to sleep with this woman because she has jammed your toilet? I will absolutely sleep with this woman. Yeah, I absolutely I, I will. So. And knowing my wife as I know her now, we would have shared an important, funny moment over it because this morning, what we had to do together was stomp a rat to death. <gasps> See, yeah. that's Where? called marriage. It was an awful, awful situation. Yeah, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait, wait. In the house, you stamped. You stopped what about the your rat corgi? To death today? What about the corgi that you have? Well, you didn't tell me. Oh no, I didn't tell you guys about this. It was a the hor it was a horrible way to wake up because we saw a, a mouse, a large mouse. The mice here in L.A. are honestly much larger than the house mice. in But the New rats York. are smaller. Yeah, the, the rats, rats are smaller. Because the, the mice rats are bigger. Eat the mice in in New York. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of York, the, no. the mice can sing and dance. Yeah, they here, are talented. Here the mice. Not are, right now though. They're on strike. Yeah, here the can. mice are halfway in between a New York City subway rat and a New York City house field mouse. It's like pudgy. Like oh, they're somewhere in between. So Get to the stomping to it. Therefore, <laughs> yeah. um, we put out some traps because we we saw a mouse. Uh, and this and morning, what kind of traps are we talking? Like Viet Cong, like little things the mouse puts its foot in, the mouse puts its foot yeah, in, get and the two little barbs hammers yeah, coming yeah, out. And yeah, make we, him we dug bamboo pits in the middle, cool. and we covered them in our own shit, bringing ha it back. Have you seen that museum? Uh, the, the Viet Cong Museum of Weaponry. It's, it's really I watch yeah. it online, but yeah. it's very cool. Um, so um, <laughs> I was <laughs> woken up. Yes, watching so, museums online is the loneliest thing I've ever heard of. I was with Jerry Puffin. I absolutely watch museums online. I love you. Make sense. You, I, you, I see you interested. I'm not sad. Yeah. So I, um, yeah, I was woke. I woke up around like you know, like seven, seven thirty, and you know, Carolina came into the room and and said like, "Babe, I, I think we caught the rat. Okay, uh, I think we caught the mouse, but it okay. might be a sock because I don't have my glasses on, and I very much might hope be a sock. I hope that it was a sock, and I looked, and it was not a sock. It was a rat, and it, it looked, rat. and it looked as if you know, it was dead. And so we, you know, teamwork. Uh, nice. I was, it was my job to, to be put on the gardening gloves and pick it up and she was going to hold the bag sure, uh, sure. and then dispose of it. Uh, but when no, I know she actually, mm, Ooh, mm. interesting strategy, interesting mm. strategy. I would have given Carolina the gloves to pick it up. Not because of, uh, what's going she on right now with you personally. It. I think that women are more, shush, they're able to snap things very fast. No. And then you have the thing and then you're like, whoa, and you've no. got the garbage bag and then you bring it out. I, I would have flipped roles. I'm a country boy. I have a lot more experience with death. So therefore it fell to me. I don't mind it. That's okay. just, that's the way it goes. Relationships. Yes, uh, okay, continue. How did we stay? Why are we yeah. stomping this thing? I reached, I reached down uh, <laughs> to uh, pick it up and that's when it moved. 
uh, because it was big enough that the trap was too small and it was big enough where all it did was uh, clamp down on its did snout. It, did it have so, a big cock at all or a pussy at no, all? No, it was a it was a female and it was pregnant. It was, it was uh, very you, obvious. You was, knew that. It was very oh yeah, it was quite swollen. It was it was very definitely uh, pregnant. And uh, oh. what I realized is that it had where the trap was set. It had over the course of the night crawled all the way across the room uh, in extreme pain. Right uh, and so, pregnant. Yeah, and pregnant. So at this point, you know, I'm a fairly compassionate individual. The right thing to do, you got to put it out of its misery. No, you got to cut it open, give it a little C-section, and then you got to release the baby. Yeah, that's and then definitely, you it definitely what you're supposed to do is a sort of um, a J- Andre Chikatilo style <laughs> search <laughs> for the uterus yeah. of an animal you that's don't true. understand. So, uh, and so, yeah, we um, we definitely did it together where I, you know, picked it up because every time I got near it, it tried running away from me. So you're not using glue traps? Alive. Uh, God, I, oh, hate, I, hate I hate glue, glue traps. traps. Can't, I hate glue I traps had a, so much. Uh, a glue yeah. trap. We had a glue trap in the uh, in the house at six five six Metropolitan in yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah, and I had to put the little thing in the freezer. Yeah, and so I had to freeze it to death. In the I mean, that's oven. actually much more humane but than it was horrible. A, no, no, that's it was far horrible. less humane because it's yeah. slowly freezing to death. What I did well, is I picked, no, I thought I did a humane thing. I thought the trap was more inhumane. Yeah, the yeah, the trap to death isn't that bad, Jack. Yeah, Camilla, there are people saying shut off the stream. Yeah, and so I had to. Uh, I, I picked it up. I put it in the bag um, that Carolina was holding. I took it outside, and we triple bagged it so I wouldn't have to see the blood. Wow. Uh, and that was one of the first. I had about 7.30 this morning. I put on my big boots, and I stomped it to death. And your long uh, COVID's gone. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, just, it God, just took a, a God sp- rewarded me. Good. For the moment of compassion that I had, because it, it I, wasn't compassion, you stomped a pregnant uh, rat to death. I very much could have just put the rat into the trash can and let it die. Let Do it you die think that it would have cared? Yes, I, I, I actually think I would rather be left alone and not stomped to death by a big Texan living in Los Angeles. I uh, truly. I would have just put it in the bag and put it in the trash can, yeah. No, that's not that is it. You got to put it out of its misery. I'm, I'm not fucking it. Dr. Kovorkian. <laughs> I'm Henry Zabrowski, I'm America's sorry. favorite comedian. I'm sorry, but that's the way I was ra- that's the way I was raised. You always put an animal out of its misery no matter what because you do run across animals that are half dead a lot of time. If you have if you run over a deer, you shoot it in the head. No, if you, if you no, find no, it out of sight, always out nope. of mind. You put it out of its misery no matter what because that's the right thing to do. No, no, no. That's your, let... That is your responsibility to nature. Everyone has a right to die in misery. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> has Every that right. Everyone has a right to die in misery. <laughs> and the fact that you took that misery away so yeah. it wanted to yeah. die is actually a little bit rude. And Absolutely well, not. My brother and what about wa- the babies? My brother is watching right now, and I guarantee you he is nodding his head and saying, God damn right, that's what well, you that Carolina, count, that's So Carolina brother. had no effect. She did not care that you were both. She wasn't like, because I do feel like, ah, I feel like Nat would start crying. No, she was at, well, she's, well, you want to find in, the in between. She was very sympathetic, uh, but she was proud of me for choosing the humane thing. But you because know what? It, it wasn't we, the honestly, humane, oh, wait, we were, we were in, why are we branding see, this the humane thing? I also probably this is would like have what just, Obama what does the chat say? What does the chat say? No. Does the chat say that the, that is more humane to put it out of its misery? You are People talking are Obama saying, foreign policy where he's like drones. That's a better bomb. It's more specific. You did not do the humane thing. The humane thing yes. is like buy rat. You're right. He up, is just like Barack Hussein <laughs> Obama. Obama. Uh, what does the and chat people say? are saying they're correct. Um, it's very Jocelyn says Marcus is correct. It's very country, but it's correct. Satan little helper says I'm with you, Marcus. Um, anyone else is is hard right now. As someone says right here, um, <laughs> Marcus's brother. Are you here, Lindsay? And Necropolis is asking for that. Yeah, he's married. Like, no, Darby. It's not Avery. That is Holden's brother. He's oh my! No, that's no, no. the biggest. My affront. brother's Charlie. And if, wanna, right, and if you want to look back, Charlie had a couple of wonderful guest appearances on the round he did. table. Can I actually, Charlie was the brother that, that did not want to beat me up. But I don't know if I would have stumped it that. I think I would have no. done. No, I think I would have put a little fucking. You don't want to do. Board. You don't want to do Friday the Thirteenth Part Four, but if you stomp it to death, that it's so much faster. Well, you know what you, you got to do with crunching, which the crunching. But that's Ugh. the thing. What I did is I put a paper bag in there, so that way the paper bag sound would uh, overlay well, the crunching. Well, See, I don't all think of you're the allowed extra, to kill. You're not all allowed the extra to kill. props and, and the foley yeah. actually <laughs> does make you sound like a serial killer. It really does. The rest of it, if it happened on impulse, what it means. What it means is that I have a long history of putting animals out of their misery because. That's Not what you good. have to do. That's what you have to do growing up in the country. That's what you got to do. Okay. Let's I go to the next video. Okay. Let's I would go step on a rat's head when I was a kid. Though. What you got to do is put a little fucking chef's head on it and see if it can make spaghetti. 
It couldn't make spaghetti. Because we don't know didn't... because you murdered it and its children. It no longer had a head. Ratatouille was not real. It was Patton Oswalt. Yeah, I highly doubt he it was that guy. talking on the phone, getting out of hand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, look at how dumb that is. Really, it. Love it. Love it. Phone design. Oh, I love phone so relief. We had one. Really? Yeah. To any phone. It's for disabled people. Mm -hmm. it's for but we had one because it was fun to have. You'll wonder how you ever lived without it. It's perfect for remotes. Now talk hands-free anywhere, anytime. See, people are saying that my version of killing the rat actually is humane. Smash it against the wall over and over again. Look at the old computers where they're like, that's not going to replace us. Meanwhile. Best of all, phone relief works with your favorite phone. An amazing Look at those great hot dogs. Manning Weiss, yes, this is like. Now only $12.95. See, I love this. You can do anything you want with that headset on. Anything. Cheat on your wife <laughs> while on the phone. <laughs> do your taxes while on the with phone. With your wife. Can someone tell me what a COD is? Uh, cash, no cash on cash delivery. On delivery. It, it used to be a thing back in the day that no, you No, I know, but I mail. never knew. Yes. Yes. Cash on delivery. Yeah, it's so you got to prepay. No, that somebody would show up to your house to deliver it, and you would pay the man when he handed you the product. And you'd take it, and then sometimes in, when he got real arcane was when they had the credit card machine, yeah. and they would do the credit card swipe thing and then take it away. Well, yeah. I hope the guy's not a big rat. You'll probably stomp him to death. Well, let's just move <laughs> yeah, on. Do let's wish. move on. Let's get the rat out of the head. It was actually. I'm was, in the rat mode now because I'm feeling bad for this rat. It was a highly unpleasant morning for me. Fieri fans, <laughs> it's <laughs> highly unpleasant. I can't say it was that. It was I mean, it wasn't. I mean, I'm not going to say it was traumatizing. It wasn't traumatizing. It was a highly unpleasant way unpleasant. to start the day. Yeah, you should Unpleasant. Around. It was an unpleasant way to start That's the day. That's why I always... unpleasant for the rat. Before I put a bunch of stuff out of misery in my home, I always have breakfast. Mm. I always make sure I have a full, complete breakfast. I you could have done Mama Zabrowski. You could have fed the rat to death. <laughs> <laughs> I will say what I did is that after I killed the rat, I did give myself a little treat. I did tell Carolyn, it's like, I'm going to have to go get a little treat. I went to M Street Coffee. I love M Street Coffee. I love M Street Coffee. M Street Coffee is wonderful. It's here in the Valley. I love M Street Coffee. They make a wonderful flat Las white. Las Vegas, Marcus. Or Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Los Marcus Angeles. Marcus. I went to M Street Coffee, and I got myself a flat white, and I got myself a big cinnamon roll. I'll give you a flat white. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Boom! <Ba -boom. laughs> put my cock in a light socket. <laughs> he put his cock in a light socket. Honestly, it's, it'll never be right. It'll never be correct again. Let's go over to UK. Let's forget about the rat. Let's go over to UK. Let's let's go. I love this. Let's go check out an old lady. A fun, a really fun old lady. All right, I'll look at an old bitch. <laughs> let's do it. You oh, say you're a little oh, tired I this love morning. Her. Is that right? I am tired. <laughs> she is very tired. That's actually I heard your favorite activity to do at the center here is to take take a little yes. nap. Take a nap many times as I can. I love her. You but... sound like a very busy lady. <laughs> Flossy. Yes. Later does today, not Flossy's want this. family is gonna be coming out here to throw you a big birthday party. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love I her. And that's uh, why you live to 110. Yeah, I will say it was, it's one of those. Marcus and I were talking about this. This will be part of our Husbands Can Be Right podcast. Yep. Where we talk about how at some point, like during a break, it was nice, right? Natalie wanted to invite people to our house last night for yeah, my birthday. She invited course. people, you know, and it was nice. But it was interesting because at some point I was like, you know, like, when I say we can do absolutely nothing for my birthday, I truly, like, it's not me being like, oh, we don't have to Boy, do anything. No. It's literally like I would have sat absolutely. I would have ordered barbecue mm. alone in the house. Yeah. I would have ate it in silence. Oh, God, I would have yes. smoked a bong and I would have played video games. You know, for like actually, five Henry, hours. I'm going to push back on you. Because yesterday, for the uh, serious show that didn't happen because they let off 10% of their workforce, even though it's a billion-dollar company, so we didn't go live. Hey, Howard Stern needs to be paid. I know. Yeah. But you you said you wanted an entire Henry Appreciation Hour. Well, that so was only because I, I was, think if I was wife, forced to I do the show. Wife, it's going to need to do the show on my birthday. Forced. I think that your wife knows you better than you know you. Because I actually believe that Henry wants something for his birthday. You said it was your entire birthday year. Um, so it I actually think that your wife was very good. It was a bit. I'm just saying it's. I, and I think, Marcus? endlessly thankful for no, my wife. I, I He's gotta, a whore. I gotta, he says he is. I gotta say, I'm pressed too. As a husband, because we're here on husbands are right. As a husband, husbands can be right husbands sometimes. It's not all the right. time. Maybe it's even once a year. Could but be. Husbands can be right. Technically, right, it's to gonna the be the definition of the word sometimes. It works sometimes. But as a husband. 
I have also requested this sort of thing. The, the present that is nothing. The present that is absolutely nothing. Total silence. It's just... It's just what Flossie is experiencing now in the dirt. You Cut to both of you guys at midnight. Why didn't you guys get me anything for my birthday? No. That's no, no, both no. of you at midnight after absolutely your birthday. Well, no, no, why didn't no. I get a cake? No, nothing. Like that's the thing. So I you literally want not, no I, cake? No, 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 no one no, even no, say no. happy birthday. Well, I already had it. You, you, what you misunderstand is that it's not that you don't get any kind of cake. It's not that you don't get any kind of like fun little present, little trinket. It says I'm thinking of you. It's like you get that, and then afterwards, nothing. <laughs> it's nice. Like, it's well, because I already a, had a it. Night, a I night, of, a night of nothing. Like no parties. It's no not people, Seinfeld. Just no. a night of nothing. No, 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 no. Both of you guys, Marcus, maybe I believe you a little bit more, but yeah. Henry, no. You are uh, lying. I, you're lying to yourself. You're I lying to our audience. Hard. You're lying to me. I was hardy. I was fucking hammered all weekend. So they got my birthday. It's a Monday. Mm-hmm. It's Monday's not a fun birthday day. No. And then no. I got a. I got five years of this shit now. Because mm. it's like Tuesday really? sucks. Yeah. Wednesday sucks. Yeah. Oh. Thursday. Honestly, Thursday's a good year for a fucking actual party. Yeah. It does work right? like that, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it's time. Yeah. Dates. Yeah. And then oh, I, there's certain things that I just I'm don't. To, you know what? I just fucking realized I was watching an autistic kid on on Instagram who knows everyone's birthday by day. But now I think about it, that's not that fucking hard. <laughs> Once you realize it's just it's sequ- it's, it's every it's, day. It's, what's it called? But then Mary Lou had Sequ- it. Sequential. Sequential. Mm-hmm. But no, it's true. Normally I like a birthday party, but I had already got my birthday party. Yeah. I'm just saying this, guys. People tell me I'm a liar. He yes, is I a know. liar. Yes. Literally wanted to dedicate the entire week of shows, if possible, to solely himself. You mm-hmm. stuck your dick in a socket. And you are incorrect. I made the show come. I would say I I also, but I hear where Henry's coming from because one of those is getting his ego fed, and the other one is an obligation that takes energy. That's the thing. Because one, the first one is other people expending energy for him. The second one, the party is him having to expend energy, having people over at the house. I do agree. Having to give them money, having to give them food, having having to to give them money. You're right. The money. I always hosting a party. That I understand, but if you walked in, let's just say you come to my house for the first time because I don't allow either of you in yet until it's finished because yeah. I don't want to be criticized. Um, let's just say there's a surprise party. You would cry in joy. Yeah, I love you a surprise would, party. Yeah, so you do want a party. You just didn't want to host a party because you were too lazy and you were full of liquid shit because yeah. you ate all that cake. I wanted a shit and I didn't feel very good. Mm-hmm. I understand. Henry, you remember the wolf pack? Wow. I, think, I think you brought the wolf pack in. Like what? WWE? No, not WWE. Oh no, this was me. That this was you that brought in oh, the Wolf Pack. Yes. All right, well let's let's get yes. an update on the Wolf Pack because the Wolf Pack apparently has been getting a lot of shit. People are saying the Wolf Pack isn't real. The Wolf Pack's just acting. I know these people so well. So let's get an update. Let's get a response from the Wolf Pack from those people that I love say it. they're just acting. Because I'm only saying this one fucking time. To you motherfuckers that are saying that we are acting. That is my fucking wife, for fuck's sake! Hi, guys. Her and I have been married for almost four fucking years. Shut the fuck up. <gasps> Those two are a couple. Oh. Their two years is coming up. <laughs> so I suggest you all shut the fuck up, grow a pair of fucking balls, and listen to the fucking truth. God, I miss... God. I actually don't mind the final message. Grow a pair of fucking balls unless it's your truth. I actually think he ironically accidentally stumbled upon something that might almost be on a Target poster. It's Grow some balls, balls until unless unless okay. I didn't. I now I've forgotten it because it's. I just grow some balls <laughs> unless it's your own. He said something. I honestly Grow. don't even think he. I think you heard an inspirational message, but I think he was just yeah. rambling. That's yeah, because you're good at inspirational messages. I love inspirational. Right. Yeah. Get out there, take care of it. That's don't do what I would do. Wife. I love that though. When you have to yell at a bunch of quote unquote haters yeah. that are all saying your wife's a lie. You're not actually the wolf pack. You're yeah. not like this and that. And then you have to come back and be like, oh, yeah, I am. Like, that's my favorite type I will of TikTok s- energy. I will say, though, I've watched multiple videos. I actually haven't seen that one. That's the first time he showed his wife. I don't think she's actually a part of the wolf pack. No, you know no, what? no. She's married into she's the wolf married pack. She's married in, yeah, but I don't think in. she's really an active part of it. Well, she what pro- is it? Maybe she doesn't go in a ba- maybe she doesn't go in a battle. No, with she the does wolf not. Pack, but I think she does play an integral part in the wolf pack's life. Well, she oh. knows that she's getting haters too. Yeah, and she doesn't want the haters <laughs> yeah. to be yeah. all up in it's, her yeah. bullshit either. No, I either. get it. I get so it. It's, she gets it because everybody second hand balls hatery. Because TikTok is very concerned with you growing balls. They yeah. want you to come and fight yeah. them. They want you to find them wherever they're 
that and yeah. challenge them. Yeah. And most of the time, it's like, dude, you're in Delaware. Well, <laughs> we just saw like the the dirtier side of TikTok. Let's go to the. What was dirty about that? That house was. F- I mean, it was. Yeah, well, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was dirty. Excuse me. Whoa! Uh, excuse me. Burper yeah. McBurper. Yeah. Usually, I keep. Sorry, it must be contagious. <laughs> Don't. Um, you're gonna throw up. Fart. <laughs> Let's go to the talented side of TikTok. Let's go to the, el- I would say the elegant side of TikTok. Oh, I don't think I've oh, never I've heard of that. I've never, I don't know what that means. The Met Gala of TikToks where they honor another racist rapist. It's a different kind of elegance. Okay. Mm. Noam Chomsky. Oh, I haven't seen this. Oh, I like this guy. Okay. Very Tiger King meets uh, Irwin Steve Irwin. I'm liking yeah. this vibe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Ball yeah. Ball and hustle, dog. I need that ch- I love oh, it. I think oh, this yeah. is from Coachella. I think this is that one guy's performance. I like older <laughs> women. I want that shirt. Woo! Yeah, dude. It's my fucking song, man. Dude, this was an era. No, dude. This is like I love two months ago. I know, but for this man, he is. <laughs> oh, whoa. She's gone. <laughs> oh, he's gone. You're out. <laughs> Buddy, you can't right. hang with the big boys. No. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, bro. This is awesome. Woo, this is a good remix. Yeah, man. I like this. Boom. Okay, well, he's not really... Okay, but it's good. It's Ooh, good. Man, this is awesome. Great. I can see 20 years ago. 30 years ago, probably. Yeah, Get out of here. Fucking, Watch bro. out. We're on camera. Yeah. Woo. I'm, this is a fucking... This, this is good. He's still... I, Woo! Rink rats is what someone says, Jay. Yeah, rink rats. And they've also got a little thrift store there at the roller rink. I'm just so happy this guy gets to be free. He really does. And he's he's got a lot of really good videos. I can't remember his name right now. Mm Mm-hmm. You'll find him. I gotta find that. That's fucking I love that song. Yeah. This is I really say, like, you know, obviously a lot of a lot of things have changed. Yeah. There's certain things when you look at that guy. That guy at least is living like it's still 2019 in his head. He's doing 2019, it, yeah. but you know what I mean. 1989. But he, there's some of his head. He's like he's free. He's free. He's, he's one free. of the free. He's one of the freest individuals I think I've ever seen. I think and I'm at living. the very least he's free in the rink. I he may say, not be free outside, but he's free when he's, he's in that rink. He's free when he's got skates on. Them eight wheels take him to Valhalla. <laughs> I think I'm living 1992. Yeah, I feel like my brain's like 1992. I, all I know is I've always told I was told by every single development person ever of like, man, you guys should have been here 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, that, pitching in Hollywood. Have you thought about being women? Well, we have, and we're not. I put you your brain in 1998. Great, I'll take That's it. That's where I put you. I put I'll you take straight it. in 1998. Where's my brain? Your brain. <laughs> Whoa. What's in there? It's either in 1814 or like 2933. <laughs> I, I, it's like, I can't tell. That's sometimes. what I'm shooting for. Would I don't you know. Put, would you put my brain? Because I've got a ballpark. Your brain is probably 1974 to uh, 2007, just before the iPhone came out. You see, I still view you as a 2000s boy. You know what's funny? I actually would have put myself to like a 2007 brain. Oh, yeah. You're definitely yeah. still like you want the, the hives are on the, the radio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The strokes are having sex with your girlfriend. Not yet having <laughs> actual strokes. You're doing no. it out 2000, there. 2007, man, I was in the Lower East Side. I was in Williamsburg. I was doing cocaine at Motor City. I was doing cocaine at Manhattan. I was doing cocaine at a lot of, lot of different places. And that places. was back in the day when we were just worried it was going to be cut with baby powder so you'd take a liquid shit. But also that was a great time because all we would eat was hoagies. I was, and you kind of needed that dump. I oh, was yeah. at the fucking annex on stage with the DJ hanging out, bro. Fucking I was cool, having a fucking out. My jeans, And it's not because of the cocaine. My je- <laughs> <laughs> no, you no, always no. hang Dude, out with DJ who sober. Who do you think gave me the cocaine. The DJ? The oh. DJ, the DJ? My He friend. was trying to fuck you, dude. Yeah. No I way, dude. That was my right. buddy fucking Spiky Phil. We were in a band together. Why was he named Spike You Phil? <laughs> you know what? I never got around to never that. Asked. Like, literally, was he a serial, you know what? No. Yeah, everybody's I, everybody's basically Spike saying 2007 for more, because everyone immediately was like, yeah. 2007. 2007. Yeah, yeah. 2000, 2007 to 2000. What are they giving me? What's the chat giving me? It said something about, you got, you got big future. head, you're fucking you're just, <laughs> Also, by guy. the way, I finished the fucking second day there, a Sunday night, Willie Nelson, right? I'm finishing up there. I'm walking up the steps, and this fucking lipless bitch comes up to me. And she says, Hodor, I'm done with it. Yeah. 
I'm done with it. Yeah, you should be done with it. I'm this living is... in the era before Hodor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it actually wasn't that long ago. I will say, when we were in Santa Ana, and we went to the little sty bar, it was very nice, honestly, with this dude who was a very... I think he had a Joker's vest on, like he was a mm. biker guy, mm. and he kept going up to you going, Look! It's Thor! That and was we cool. All had to laugh. Thor is cool. We all had That's to... Really nice. He's talking about the, 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 he's fat Thor, the new yeah. fat Thor. No, I fucking... No, okay, no, for, oh, but he kept oh. showing... He kept showing the picture of me like, it's Thor! And then, and also, then he's not Kissel fat. had to laugh because the man was going to kill all of us. Yeah. Like, the man kept coming by and being like, it's fucking Thor, man! And we're all like, I actually, <laughs> yeah, he is. He's fucking out of shape. After I played that God of War, I loved that Thor because he wasn't fat. He was just older. He had a little bit of a papa belly and he was taking care of his daughter. And yes, he was drinking too much because he it didn't feel like he was being respected. Also, he's still Thor. Daughter? Thor didn't have a daughter. Yeah, whatever the fuck the person was. I thought it was his daughter in that movie, in that game. Mm -mm. It wasn't his daughter? No. Who was the person that Thor was relatives with? Freya. It was Odin and Thor. And then it was, I guess it was just a kid. Loki. Yeah, it was just Moby. Moby. Not Moby. (laughs) I'm pretty certain it was Moby. (laughs) It's Loki. Uh, Let's move on to the next one. Let's let's do a couple of quick hits here. All right. Let's pop it in. Moby stole our friend's girlfriend. Ben, Ben, you're going to love this one. Okay, thank you. Hey. What's silver and you wear it? Mm-hmm. Silverware. <laughs> <laughs> I think our algorithms, our algorithms are the exact same, Marcus. I've seen this and uh, did I laugh? Yes, I did because it is funny. Although after I broke down the joke, I realized there are flaws. There are flaws with the bit. <laughs> okay, what because you... what's silver and you wear it? Silverware. It would actually technically be chainmail. Um, so she well, just, she actually, she's made, just saying funny things. Cause she's no, a I know, pun, but you don't wear silver wear. You Everyone wear, she's a, known is dead. Yeah. Everyone that she ever loved is dead. Yeah. That's what's, true. what's male that you wear? Chain, Chain mail. mail. Yeah. And see, that's actually very good. And again, you're, you, if you can't come up with this, you, I don't know how you got this job. I, I don't know, know why I don't have popsicle stick fucking sponsorship. But that yeah. is very correct. Yeah. yeah you're right. Very correct. Let's do another one. This one is also for you then. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I let, let's put my dick in a light socket. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Henry asking to do our second episode. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Whoa. <laughs> Huge cock in the old dog. Huge cock, yeah. Oh, help him out. Is he like a bat? Oh. I don't know what the bathroom goblin is doing. What, oh. is, where, what is he trying to get to? <laughs> it's just I don't know. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, I wonder what he wanted. I think he wanted to brush his teeth. Yeah. He, honestly, dogs don't like it. No, no, they hate no, it. They I hate getting it. their teeth brushed. Yeah, we had to knock Wendy out. She has to go do that, and they they brush her teeth or whatever. I had to you do knock a... her. You had to knock her out for it. I mean, yeah, I would. It's so crazy. <laughs> he he, start, he put her yeah. in a bag and put some uh, paper in there. Yeah, yeah, so you don't like, hear it. No, no, That's you have to knock her out. They do a deep clean. Yeah, and then they go in and they got to put her. They got to not put her to sleep, but not the big sleep. Yeah, half sleep. Yeah, I had to give Puff in a mandatory bath yesterday because the. Because he got this hair on his butt and the poop was there. So yeah. then I had to take my razor, which I will not use anymore. Good. My electric razor. Thank but you. now his butthole is completely shaven. That's good. Hey, I'm man. glad you freed it. This is yes. so what you got to do. It's what I have to do every six months. Mm-hmm. Very, very happy. Not since I, I got the bidet, use that though. razor anymore. What's nice about the bidet is, honestly, I put the I hit the you pressure. I put it all the way up to you the top. Wendy no, it's me. Oh. And I put it all the way top. And that shit just cuts through the thicket. Yeah, it does. I mean, that's like that's the... I guess the equivalent of a machete. I'm as clean as a fucking AR-15 mm. <laughs> down there. It's crazy. Nice and clean. <laughs> nice and clean. Uh. Never fought. Never fired. Also, never buy a used AR-15. Robbie, uh, Robbie asks, how, how did Ben feel about the Packers draft? Oh, it was fine. I mean, I'm I'm happy we're in the era of love. Sure. Jordan Love, that's our quarterback. Oh, that's nice. I think it's fantastic, and the Packers are going to be better off without Aaron Rodgers. He can go play for the Jets. Who yeah, when he oh, play, God. Tell him to go yes, do he, ayahuasca again and start playing golf. He Seriously, has, he tripped so hard that when he would throw interceptions, he was like, that's fine, someone got it. He, it's has, like, no, to it's go, not he has to go play for the Jets? He wants to. He wants to. I was watching the Knicks game earlier. He's there courtside. He has no idea how horrible it's going to be for him. But that's okay. Oh, God. We're in the era of love. Yeah, we are in the era of love. Yep. You know whose talent we really need to appreciate? Who? In different ways. like And not just the, the ways that we all appreciate. Mark Hamill? The way we, no, not Mark Hamill. Mm-hmm. Mark Hamill is plenty appreciated. He's fine. Mark Hamill's doing great. Uh, his work, yeah, his work on the Joker is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but Steven Seagal... 
is a multifaceted I man. I mean, he's got a lot going complicated. on. Complicated. Very complicated man. Very complicated man. His allegiances are certainly suspect. Well, deeply flawed, unpatriotic, and, and immoral, and completely uh, wrong. Some might say traitor. Some yeah. might say he is a traitor to his country. But yeah. did you know he's also a guitarist? No. I actually did not. You no, did, not? did not? So Ooh. let's. You paying attention? Oliver, you yep. sure? Yes, sir. Watch this. Oh my oh god. god. That's a oh what that god, is a three note solo, one, my friend. That's like a, What's I the score? Guitars because I'm a serious player and I've been playing since I was a child. How does he can, Oh I love fake karate too? Oh, yeah. you I love through, it. We all right. went through this phase of fake karate, yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Your guitar asks, what's a riff that sounds easy but is actually hard to play? Who's that guy? Wow, this oh. is very... He is doing... It doesn't sound that difficult. And then you watch him play it, he's just got his thumb stretched all the way up here. It's incredible. It's, it's just truly... Who's this guy? I don't know. A difficult thing to play. He might be especially related if you don't to have large hands. Is he one of those BTS people? I'm gonna say this. Oof. Oof. I am so bad. I feel so bad for the actual musicians. I feel so bad for them. Ooh. That guy's just trying to be like, what are you doing, dude? I'm trying to jam. Why does he always dress like a couch? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Always just like someone put a bunch of clothes on a piece of furniture. Like, yeah. Funny you say that, Henry. Upholstery. I'm gonna say that's my compliment to Steven Seagal. Mm -hmm. I think he dresses good. <laughs> yeah. He's funny. Sure. He was rock and roll Steven sure. Seagal. Sure. I thought he had a good look to him. Sure. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, yeah but this it's not good. Do you have you been watching any? Because recently it reminds me a lot of I've been getting a lot of Johnny Depp live performance in his band because he was Vampire. with vampires. Yeah. yeah, how was it going? But no, he's now. Then he did with what's his name? He was with somebody uh, Jeff Beck who just died. Yeah, which is oh, it was a two hander. Yeah. It was him and Jeff Beck. Yeah, so Jeff Beck would just. Play the guitar like he's Jeff Beck because he's a fucking very talented. He's very talented. Very he does talented. his thing, and then literally Johnny Depp would just come out and go brown, <laughs> brown. Like he's got four notes. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. that's like all he's got to do. He's got a huge melon. You know oh, what? Oh, dude, that's actors. Say Joaquin Phoenix, big melon. Exactly. You know what, Henry? What I'll say that was actually very good. You actually sang a pretty convincing E chord there. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty Here, good. Let me, let me, let me like a, you sort of did like the link ray, like that's sort of like rumble. I'm gonna, gonna do, I'm gonna do an F chord right now. Fuck <laughs> Dick in a socket. Only the best material. Yeah. Only the best I also, I also plugged the lamp into my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this okay, I've got a video queued up, but you know, I wanna save this next video for next week because I really want us to sit in it. Okay. I want it, I want us to sit in it, and I feel okay. like we're in. You know, yeah. we we got a couple more things to go through. Minutes, we got seven, seven more minutes, minutes but this not, I want us to sit in that one. So I'm I love save it. it. I'll ruminate. I'll I'm ruminate later. It. Let's say, why don't we just get in the chills and thrills? Let's get. Let's get. Let's. Okay, I chills. did see Bo was afraid, and it's fucking awesome. You loved it too, right? Bo was afraid. Bo was afraid is fucking incredible. Bo was afraid is one of the best theater experiences I've had in I don't know how long. It's worth the three hours. It really Ever is. Since. Absolutely worth the three hours. Mm -hmm. All, the only thing I will say is I will cut off my hands. Oh, yeah. interesting. They also started putting fleshlights on the back of every seat, so Marcus was able to have sex with that. Disgusting. Oh. That's, that's not even real. That's not. A, you don't have a. That doesn't exist. I mean, yeah, I've used fleshlights in the past, but never in public. That's not a no, fucking I know real that. thing I'm that you. And so no, movie you said theaters are not. I firmly believe movie theaters are not public. You believe that movie theaters are private spaces yes, that, the that movie. contain hundreds of strangers. You see, yes, this is but that, everyone's that, an at isolated least like thought. right now, we'll we'll not unpack this now okay. because this is like obviously a future crime that Kiss will be involved in. But yeah, he'll have crime. to do like yeah. I was in private. Yeah, it should I do, be. I actually do remember that we in our last live show uh, we did have a, a Ben did have a a, a very a passionate. Um, Defensive, defense. uh, defensive Fred Willard. He and did. I, jerked and off in you, a jerk off theater, and I've which heard is you exactly what you're supposed to do. And I've heard you passionately uh, defend Paul Rubin. Pee Wee Rubens Herman. As well. Yeah, I've heard you passionately defend He wasn't men. fucking dressed like Pee Wee Herman when he did it. No, he wasn't. He was Paul Rubin. And that's before the internet, boys and girls. Well, yeah. You had to jerk off in public every now and again like you're a fucking high school football player. This is his one true stance. Kills and thrills, ladies and gentlemen. Let's does, get to it. Who doesn't? Do, do that. 
the porno. I jerk off at home. In the Hello. porno. With my family. Hello. With the porno. Could I tell you about this very extraordinary can? Inside it is a magical ice. <laughs> it turns itself with a little water into a soft drink so thick and cold you oh, have to oh. eat it. Oh, that's not so good. It, orange chills and thrills run Why is that what we want? You. That's why this very extraordinary the can worst. is called Chills and Thrills. That's all. Why? I mean, is that real? Yeah. yeah. This is That's back in the day real. when they. Oh, that texture. Oh, they, they were didn't trying care. a lot of stuff. I don't know what it was Ooh. about the idea of like mixing up. It's like, why would I want my soda to be chowder? Well, why? Do, like, why? Like, where have I gone wrong? Also, yeah. I think in the seventies, everyone was about gelatin. Mm. A lot of it was gelatin. Like, everything was gelatin. It was big. It was a lot was of brown. Gelatin? Was that like the biggest thing ever? Was gelatin? They a really lot liked of, it. They liked it. I think it's because it was <sighs> vibrant colors. Like a lot of the stuff looks no, like it wasn't. That it was the opposite of vibrant well, colors. But you it was can't very, put the food colors in it. It was forest colors. There's a lot of browns, a lot of oranges, well, which is I miss. Outside, I, love I do. Browns I like a pea green. I like the. I, I like that it. orange. I like that color. But then Good mixed brown amongst town. it, you'd have a jello mold that would be fluorescent green mm -hmm. with the muted pea green. Yeah. And a little bit of an orange. Actually, a nice mix. You that got the fiery nice. red. Yeah. Of the blood why filled, the, the period flavored <laughs> jello, which was very controversial. Why can't the pea green talk? Rusty. Well, yeah, but it was. It was rust flavor, but they called it period because they knew what was going on. Why can't the pea green talk? <laughs> what? Why can't the pea green talk? What? What you talking about? I'm saying the colors. I'm saying like the colors of the jello would stand out amongst the traditional colors. Let of my pea kitchen. green talk. You know, Ben, I got one more video for you. Okay. This one I know you haven't seen. Okay. This one, I know you haven't seen this. This is right up your alley. Oh yeah, Flossie Dicky. Can't believe that. we lost her, man. Lost her too young. Ooh. Yeah. 2016. Oh. Wow. Yeah, Suicide by cop. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Uh, Don't do it. This is for you, Ben. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of the dream house though. Nice little I thought that breakfast was made <gasps> in a frying pan. <laughs> Bacon, sausage, <laughs> eggs, and even ham. <laughs> Marjorie Taylor then Green. Then I tried a waffle. Did it, did it. It was mighty fine. Did it, did it. Now I eat them for breakfast all the time. He made the did wrong it. choice, to be honest. He's a Butter waffle eater. Syrup, strawberries and whipped cream. This is fun. Ooh. Chocolate chips and nuts. <laughs> Powdered sugar too. I like oh, I feel bad for him. He's of age. They're so good. Mm. I eat them in the morning. It's a wrong so choice. Eat the meat. Start my day. And what's funny is that it's a, of course a parody of my I'm a believer, but he never actually says I'm a waffle eater. Some no. Chick -fil -A. Oh, that's Ooh, smooth. I thought he was going she there. No, he never. You want him to, but he doesn't. I knew I was one. looking forward to that. attention. I thought he was he's building I, attention. I that is hilarious. He may say it at the end. I didn't watch the whole video. And much to my surprise, yeah, did it, did it. At the bottom, I found waffle fries. Do we know if this guy's like Joseph Fritzl or? I'm a, I'm a waffle, waffle eater. eater. No, he doesn't do it. Chili and our cheese. Yeah. I'm a waffle eater. Any way oh. you please. Any way no. you please. Oh, oh, it's like, man, it's so bad. Good. No. I eat them during the day. Yeah, I'm a waffle eater, waffle eater if I try. No. Nope. Next waffle. Ooh. Ah, ooh. ooh, it looks like it's covered in no, liquid no. shit. Yeah, that's not. I don't. Oh, no, that's, that's not about peanut. peanut. You never have peanut butter on a waffle. No, I'm sure it's good. It just looks kind of like liquid shit. It does, yeah. I eat a lot of waffles at home. I haven't gotten into that. Uh, actually, I went for an ice cream. And much to my surprise. It's another waffle. Are these kids at gunpoint? It's a waffle cone. Caramel and hot fudge. There's no waffle. I'm a waffle eater. <laughs> no, don't even bother, buddy. And whipped cream. With I'm a waffle eater. This guy is not talented. <laughs> They're so good. Mm. I like him in the well, I would say Weird Al, Puma, 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 you can really see why he has this talent. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, because uh, Weird Al is going immediately waffle eater and yeah. then spreading out from oh, there. Yes. I'm a waffle eater. Wait, there he did go. say it. There we go. Yes, I am. Finally. Why now, though? I'm a waffle eater. It doesn't make sense now. But yes, I am. I guess it does. Talk about ice cream for a this whole verse. Who the fuck is it's that? a little girl. That's whipped cream. You're this an idiot. This is fun. This is just yes, him having fun with his kids. Yeah. He, it does kind of go off the rails Special there. thanks to Kelly, Rachel, Rachel Lindsay, Lindsay, How long are these Griffin, fucking Tyler, Tyler credits? Alice. The wow. credits are like a middle. Oh. Is there a post? Actually, I have no. I think this is outtakes. Hold on. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's no, that is a blooper. It's Let's bloopers. try it again. Wait till he says a racial slur. I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Honestly, this is wholesome. It's very wholesome. Again, wait until. Let's we'll see what he says. Ugh. That's not wholesome. Don't look at your kids. Oh, God, it's disgusting. He's looking at the camera. He's not looking at the kids. <laughs> no, it's but it's sexual. He's, he's not holding the kids. It doesn't I mean, have to be. It did. I mean, See, this is really fucking fun. waffles did this guy eat for this? He ate a lot of waffles. We also don't the, know how long the shoot was. I actually think the kids are behind this. Okay, yeah, let's see how they mess this up. No, it's the same thing. They... I do think you know what, Ben. I think you're right. I think the kids are. I think the kids are humiliating their father. They might. Well, this might come from fine. children. Then yeah. it's fine. That's interesting. All right. That's well, one more video, Marcus. One more. Also, one we got to stop video? giving all these kids this much power. That's how they're going to start coming for the adults. Let's well, start they... it up. This last video. This is from our man. Let's just go ahead and start it, Eric. Let's fuck it. Let's pop this thing off. This last video. It's from our man Bill McClintock, who makes the absolute best mashups in the world. This one's gonna blow your mind. Let's listen to it for a bit.